Let's begin taking a look here at section 7.4. Uh, again, we're staying with right triangles, and in section 7.4, we're going to look at two types of special right triangles. Okay, and as we get going here, you're going to notice that these relationships, um, you know, you, you can, you don't have to memorize one of them. Uh, however, it does make your life a little bit easier uh, when it comes to certain doing certain things. So, uh, first of all, in a 45-45-90, okay. Um, in other words, it's an isosceles right triangle. The hypotenuse is square root 2. Oops, let me get this right. The hypotenuse is square root 2 times as long as each leg. Okay, so if you're trying to get the hypotenuse, you take the leg, you multiply it by the square root 2. Okay, um, another way of thinking about it is thinking that the extended ratio of the side lengths of a 45 45 90 is 1 to 1 to square root 2. Okay, however you want to remember it. But the big thing is, when you see a 45, 45, 90, the one thing that should pop in your head immediately is square root 2. Okay, and then you ask yourself, am I going to multiply by it or do I divide by it, depending on what information I'm trying to find. So an example one here, it says find the length of the hypotenuse. Okay, well, here's the deal. It's 45, 45, 90, which by rule, right, if, if this side is 6 and it's across from 45, then if this is 45, this side's also got to be 6. So you could know you could use the Pythagorean theorem here as long as you recognize it's an isosceles right. So then you can set up your whole argument. You can go six squared plus six squared equals x squared. Um, this and this is thirty six and thirty six, which makes seventy two equals x squared. Square root, factor tree, blah blah blah. Um, but you'll notice there's some work involved there, right? I, I like to do things as simply as possible. If it's a 45, 45, 90, and I have the leg and I want the hypotenuse, just multiply by square root of two. Okay, and if you do the factor tree over here with square root 72, you're going to end up getting to 6 root 2. And that's why I'm telling you don't, you know, if you can memorize these, memorize them. Okay, it makes your life a lot easier. Okay, it says find the lengths of the variable in each triangle. Again, in part A, if we get to a quiz and you forget the 45, 45, 90 relationship, um, you can use Pythagorean theorem, right? This is x, this is x, that's what tells you it's a 45, 45, 90 because it's an isosceles right triangle. All isosceles right triangles are 45, 45, 90. Now, if you forget that, you can always do x squared plus x squared equals 9 square root 2 squared. Okay, but again, there's work involved there. I don't want to do that. So I know that if I'm going from hypotenuse to leg, I'm getting smaller. If I'm getting smaller, that means I got to divide, and the thing I divide by is square root 2. So I do 9 root 2 divided by root 2. Those cancel, and so x here is just... 9. All right, in part B, again, it's a 45, 45, 90. You're thinking square root of 2. Um, ask yourself, what are you trying to get? You want the hypotenuse. So are you getting bigger or smaller? You're clearly going to get bigger. So then you take your leg and you multiply it by the square root of 2. So you have 2 root 2 times root 2. All right, so that's 2 times root 2 and root 2 just as makes 2, right? Square root of 4 is 2. And then 2 times 2 tells you that x equals 4. You'll notice these problems are very simple if you have these um, shortcuts, okay, down. Part C, again, you're going from hypotenuse to leg, so you're getting smaller. So x equals 12 square root of 2 divided by the square root of 2. Those cancel, so x here is just 12. Okay. So the 45, 45, 90 is, is as straightforward as it gets. It's the easier of the two to memorize. Okay. So sketch an isosceles right triangle. Uh, what are the angles in the triangle? Okay. Well, we've already talked about this. If I sketch an isosceles right, there's right, that makes it isosceles. Okay. Well, then clearly this angle and this angle have to be congruent. Okay. And again, if we call those angles X, right, well, then you know the, you know the triangle sum theorem x plus x plus 90 has to equal 180. Subtract your 90. All right, so you get 2x equals 90. Divide both sides by 2. Tells you that x is 45. Uh, and that's what tells you it's a 45, 45, 90. So again, all isosceles right triangles are 45, 45, 90s. Okay, and that's, what, that's exactly what this says. Isosceles right triangle is a 45, 45, 90. And again, the extended ratio is obviously 1 to 1 to square root of 2. 
that's just reviewing what we've already talked about. Okay, the 30, 60, 90, the, the reason this is a little bit tougher is because um, there's, it's not just one factor, there's two different factors you have to remember, okay? In a 30, 60, 90 triangle, the hypotenuse is blank as long, not a long, as long as the shorter leg, and the longer leg is blank times as long as the shorter leg, okay? The hypotenuse is two times, okay? Don't worry about X, I'm just saying two times, okay? Is two times as long as the shorter leg, and the longer leg is square root three times as long as the shorter leg, okay? And so in a 30, 60, 90, the, the one thing I'm going to tell you is I would always encourage you to tr find the shorter leg. Once you know the shorter leg, you can find both of the other pieces. All you have to do is multiply by 2 or multiply by square root 3. Okay, Always get to the shorter leg. So the hypotenuse is 2 times the shorter leg, and the longer leg is uh, square root 3 times the shorter leg. And that's exactly what this triangle shows you. Okay, If the shorter leg is x, then the, then the hypotenuse is 2 times that, and the longer leg is square root 3 times that. One thing to note here, when we say longer leg, again, that's always the side across from the 60 because that's... If 60 is bigger than 30, which makes this side longer than this side because 60 is bigger than 30, okay? So the shorter leg is always the side across from the 30 in, uh, in a 30, 60, 90, okay? Uh, don't worry too much about the extended ratio. That doesn't, I don't think that's going to help you too much. So an example for it says you make a guitar pick that resembles an equilateral triangle with side lengths of 32 millimeters. What is the approximate height of the pick? Okay. So we're kind of jumping right into a, a, a more application type problem. So it's an equilateral triangle. All right. Side lengths are all 32. It says, what is the approximate height? Okay. So when I drop down the height here in an equilateral triangle, call it H, okay, um, what that does is it actually cuts this side in half. So that's 16 and that's 16. All right. Um, the other thing it does is it cuts this top angle in half. Well, in an equilateral triangle, what are your angle measures? In an equilateral triangle, all three of your angles are 60. So if I cut 60 in half, this is 30. This is 30. These We didn't touch these angles, so these are 60. So you'll notice what we've done here. Okay, I'm going to pull out. We've, we've created two 30, 60, 90 triangles. Okay, here's... I'm just going to redraw one of them. So that's 30, that's 60, that's 16. Call this guy H. Call this one 32. Okay? So what is the approximate height? Again, based on the given information, you could just use Pythagorean theorem, and that would be fine. Okay? However, it's going to be just a little bit more work. That's all. If you know the shortcut, it's pretty simple. Okay? If you want to find the length of the... Uh, height here, again, identify this, the height is across from the 60, which makes it the longer leg, and remember the, the shortcut is, if you want the longer leg, that's equal to the shorter leg, which is 16, times square root of 3, you're done, millimeters, okay, and again, at this point, it says approximate, so you could plug that into your calculator and get a decimal, Okay, I'm not going to do that in this video, but so that's all you're doing there is just using your 30, 60, 90 shortcut. It will save you time and energy if you know them. Okay, now you'll notice here in part A, this is a good question because you can't just use Pythagorean theorem. So you better know your 30, 60, 90. Otherwise, uh, you're going to uh, be in trouble here. Okay, so example five, part A, it says find the value of the variables. Again, always find your shorter leg first. The shorter leg in this example is X. Okay, so when you ask yourself, what information do I know? I know that the longer leg is 8. Okay, so understand the relationship between the two legs, the long leg and the short leg. Remember, the factor is square root 3. And then I always just explain it this way. If you're going from the longer leg to the shorter leg, clearly you're getting smaller. If you're getting smaller, that means you divide. So x equals 8 divided by the square root of 3. Um, now we have to rationalize this. We can't have a square root in the bottom. Okay, so we got to multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of 3. And so now what that does, I have 8 root 3 on top and just 3 on the bottom. Okay, so I got rid of my square root on the bottom. So there's my short leg. And now once I've got my short leg, I can go from this to hypotenuse. 
Remember, the factor there going from short light to hypotenuse is multiplied by 2. So you have 2 times 8 root 3 over 3. And that just equals 2 times 8 is 16 square root 3 over 3. Not nice numbers, clearly, but accurate nonetheless. All right. In part B, find H. Again, the whole idea here is recognizing um, this is clearly an equilateral triangle because that's 12 and 12. 6 and 6 makes 12 here as well. So this angle's got to be 60. This angle's got to be 60. This is 30. This is 30. Okay, so H represents the long leg. I already know the short leg. So to go from the short leg to go from the short leg to the long leg, remember the factor, short leg times square root 3. And then finally here in part C, um, I already know the, the short leg. So I know to go from the short leg to the long leg, again, the factor is square root 3. So x equals 2 root 3 times root 3. Well, that's just 2 times 3, which is 6. So here x would be 6. So again, the two factors you got to have in the back of your mind when it comes to a 30, 60, 90 is uh, square root 3 and then just 2, depending on if it's long leg or hypotenuse. Okay, uh, example 6 says a car is turned off while the windshield wipers are moving. The 24-inch wipers stop making a 60-degree angle with the bottom of the windshield. How far from the bottom of the windshield are the ends of the wipers? Okay, so in other words, you have a 30, 60, 90 here clearly. Okay, and they want to know what's that guy, what's X? Okay, they want to know the longer leg. Okay, now here's the thing you have to understand. You cannot go fr directly from the hypotenuse to the longer leg. That's why, I always, that's why I said earlier, always get your shorter leg first. So this is 30. We'll call this Y. So Y is my shorter leg. I can get my shorter leg easily. I know my hypotenuse. Remember, the, re the factor that relates your hypotenuse and your short leg is just 2. You're getting smaller, so you do 24 divided by 2. tells you that Y here is 12. And then once you know your shorter leg is 12, you can now get to your longer leg. Your longer leg is your short leg times the square root of 3. Okay? Inches. And again, if, if the problem said approximate, fine. Then go ahead and plug it into your calculator to get a decimal. Okay? And this example doesn't indicate one way or the other, so we'll just leave it like that. Okay, so again, um, section four, two special triangles, 45, 45, 90, 30, 60, 90. Remember in a 45, 45, 90, the, the factor is square root two. And then in a 30, 60, 90, you got to distinguish what pieces you're talking about. And then that determines whether you're using a factor of two or a factor of square root three.